All right, now, what's up, bro? You know what I'm saying? You know, man, I sit up here and I think about it, you know what I'm saying? And I think about the church, you know what I'm saying? And I think about how the church made war with God, you know what I'm saying, these last 2023 years. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and, and, man, it tripped me out, you know what I'm saying? Because I think about you know what's going on right now you know a lot of us are, are being match made right now you know like matchmaking is being done right now because a lot of us have been lonely so long that right now we just waiting to meet that perfect lady or that perfect man you know and everybody waiting on the divine marriages and all that stuff but the real marriage is to god that's what i came for to marry the whole world you know, that's why, you know, like, you know, one of the women, I ain't going to say one of the women, I'm just going to be honest. The last woman I dealt with, you know what I'm saying, I didn't deal with her, you know, dealing with her, you know, love, in a love way, I did deal with her in a love way, but I didn't deal with her in a love way that I wanted her to be mine, you know what I'm saying. I never did seek her to be mine because she had a man when I met her. She belonged to him. So she was married to him before she was married to me. So, you know, I knew she was a woman that was in the middle of a breakup, you know what I'm saying, because I was playing dominoes with her boyfriend's uh, uh, nephew, you know, his nephews, you know what I'm saying, and I was at a party at my best friend's house, Louise. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, everybody was, and I ain't trying to say no name, get nobody involved in this. Louise passed away. Me and Louise in this body together. Louise with me. Louise talking with me. But anyway, you know Adam Troy crazy as hell. This Louise. Hey, Troy. Hey, Scab. Hey, uh, all y'all joy. Crazy ass, all y'all. You know what I'm saying? This Louise. This big Lou. In Adam. You ain't big no more. I'm the Perfect voices like that I'm listening to out there. I'm that woman sitting there talking to Adam right now. Shit. And Louise, shit. Adam ain't lying. Dr. Kimmel could do you wrong. Cause I had to go through the same thing. I had to pray to Adam the first day I left. I had to pray to I left before I left. When I got that acid on me the first time, I left. But I stayed just like Adam did. That's why I ended up buying a trucking company because Dow did me the same way they did Jack. And Jack told me they were going to do me the same way. But anyway, Jack was playing domino. And he seen, you know, Hobo, you know, talking to the lady. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I like to say Hobo. Because Hobo, I'm the, I'm the bum, you know, the B-U-M. You know, they call me a bum, you know what I'm saying? But he was a Hobo. And he got the same Social Security, you know, she had told me the story about him. You know, waiting for years to get his social security, and when he got it, he got like twelve hundred dollars and wouldn't give her none. That's why she fell out with him and was able to, you know, mess with me or mess with anybody else. You know what I'm saying? So that's the way, you know, some people is. You know, you mess over, then they mess over you back. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just human nature. You know what I'm saying? A person's nature to do that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you got the devil in you. And, you know you just about that so you know I knew what the deal was so Troy had mentioned said you know it was Labor Day weekend party you know what I'm saying so Troy said uh, you want to go out there and meet her man that's that lady good with kids I said oh yeah yeah and then he said you know uh uh you want to go meet her? I said nah because I'm looking at his, his uncle out there talking to the lady you know what I'm saying I'm like man nah man God going to give me the woman God want me to have. And I don't know why, man. Out of that woman drove off. The very next day, she walked in the goddamn lunchroom when we was in the early morning when we had just came, you know, sitting waiting for the safety me. She walked through the door, and I asked Marvin, Marvin, who is that? Oh, she just made sick. I should have put an X on it right then when he said Bay City, because if I didn't know her and she was five years older than me and I ain't know her and I ain't know her nephews and nieces and 
Krista, ain't no other Ashani did on me. But she was looking good, so you know I did, you know, holler at her later and then end up, you know, in with her, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, you know what I'm saying, I knew that was somebody. The reason it didn't ever phase me throughout 18 years, because I knew I never did have that person. That person never did belong to me. The only reason I lasted 18 years because to me it was about the church. And that's why I say, you know, everybody played in this movie and everybody played a great part. Whatever part you played, you played a great part. Because, you know, it was one time in there, I knew I didn't have nobody love me. I knew I had somebody needed, you know, what I could do for them. You know what I'm saying? And needed to look like they was doing everything. You know what I'm saying? To the family, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they was the type of person that was the head of the family but really didn't have the wisdom and godly knowledge and love to be the head of the family but they just scared everybody and and, 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 and bribed everybody with money to, you know, do whatever they wanted them to do. You know what I'm saying? But one thing the devil did do for me, I remember one time um, we was on our way to church and we was going to be late because we pick up a lot of kids and we had to pick up the mama, grandma, and a lot of kids. So we was going to be late, and I was sitting there, and I was telling her, you know what I'm saying, hey, we're going to be late. And uh, you say, Brother Austin preaching. And every time he preach here, he get off that pool pit when we late. And he come to me, and he say, what would Christ do? Would Christ be glad? Would Jesus be glad if you are uh, <clears throat> late? And you know, that automatically showed me the devil. I see automatically heard the devil talking to me. You know, with air blowing in my damn neck, on my neck. Talking about, uh, would Christ be glad, happy for you being late? You know, that was Brother Alfin. And his name spelled Alfin, like a fin. That's what his name is, a fin. So I, I knew I was in the right place. So, you know, we was late, sure enough, you know, so we had to wait on the usher to open the door after the prayer. So we get in and we sit down, you know what I'm saying? I ain't pay no attention to him. He glanced at me, you know what I'm saying? I sit down and I sit on this side of the wall with a few kids. And on the other side of the church, she would sit on that side of the wall with the kids, you know, because we weren't married and nothing. And you know how churches try to have they buy rules, so I just didn't like it. I knew I was being judged the whole time, so I just didn't like it. Because her nephew would be sliding me scriptures on not getting married. I should have read the motherfucker, but I didn't. But then, because I think he already knew me when I come in that motherfucker, because that was a good one. That was a good nephew. Tim, she had, Tim knew the Bible, but she had, he knew I knew it better, because... I met him before I met her. So, you know, I told her, I said, I'll tell you what, when we get to church, if he come to me again and come down, and he been down and tell me anything about Jesus, I ain't coming back. So she knew that. So, you know, like I say, I sit on one wall and she sit across the church on the other wall. So that was way across the other side. She had kids sitting on with her. I had kids sitting with me. So. You know, he get finished with his sermon, he come out the pulpit and show up, he headed toward me. Then when he get to me, I'm doing this, you know, just like this. I'm, I'm acting like I ain't paying attention. Soon as he bend down to, you know, come to say something to me, oh boy, she, you know, God came out then. God didn't allow the devil to come out then. See, cause I know sometimes I be dealing with God when I'm dealing with the devil. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like TV Jay talking about God let the devil help and shit like that. No. But God will do things in a person that's an enemy of yours, you know, to help you. I'm talking about God would do the thing, not the devil. But God stood up and said, and then it could have been part of the devil. But the devil knew this God we got in here, nigga. And if you come out that pulpit and fuck this up, 
you gonna fuck it up for all of us. So the devil and God stood up in that woman and got on her ass because that, they knew that was the real Adam in the motherfucking house. You know, that was like 2000, no, that was like, shit, 2000, right up, 2000. That was when y'all split. You know what I'm saying? That's the split, 2000. That's when Nisha was born. That was the split. That's why it lasted so long. But the only reason I waited 18 years to leave was because of that moment right there. When he came down and he went to bend over, she said, you better not say nothing to him. She said that all over the whole church. Like I say, she was sitting across the church. She had to say that over the whole congregation. She said, you better not, Lord is here. You better not say nothing to him. He said he ain't coming back. And then he talking about, oh, brother, uh, 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 this and that, that uh, I need to talk to you out here. Oh, nigga, you don't need to talk to me. Nigga, I already know. <laughs> I know who God is and I know who Satan is, nigga. Shit, no, you ain't got shit to say to me, devil. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I feel. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to put nobody out there and put nobody's business in the street, but I'm here to do church business on Correct what's wrong. Let the devil know where he's staying, where he's going, and let us know where we going. When you heard Jesus say, I saw the devil cast it out of heaven like a lightning, like lightning. All that is, is from here to there in the ground. From the top of your head, your mind, your brain, your wisdom, your knowledge, the gift of God, the God, the love, the heaven that you was made to be, the fresh air, everything that's in your mind as the soul of God went straight down as lightning from his body into the ground. He lost his soul and spirit for riches and wealth, stealing from God. You know what I'm saying? And what did Michael Archangel say when he judged and accused? Lord rebuke you. He dared not come against Satan with one railing accusation. Because he knew he'd be just like Satan. He ain't like God is. He ain't like I am. He is, Michael Archangel, he is just like I am. But he more trying to be more patient. But God is just come on out and get rid of your ass real quick. Because he ain't got time to be patient. You know what I'm saying? The book should have been learned. And I ain't got time to teach you the book. Oh, wait on you to goddamn learn patience. And <laughs> none of that. You know what I'm saying? Cause imbalances for this had to happen. Somebody could be 34 between the ages of 30, 22 and 41. Okay, shit. Somebody could be between them ages, 22 and 41. This person, this person is showing their true colors of how weird and deranged and twisted they really are. This is somebody that smoke a lot. Okay, of uh, but nothing wrong with it. But moderation is everything. And they doing a lot right now because they heartbroken <laughs> about you. Call me all types of names. Three of Pentacles. This is somebody that was teamwork and planning here. So you could be planning to get together with a lover here. Just coming in here. This is crazy. Wait a minute, sweetheart. Let me read some of this word right here. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let me see. Let me see because I... I want to read some of this word. Would, would to God you could bear with me a little, a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me, for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that's Adam, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve, you know what I'm saying, charmed Eve, through his subtility, sub, subtility so your mind should be corrupt from the simplicity 
that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit, which you have not received, or another gospel, which you have not accepted, you might well bear with him. For I suppose I was not a wit behind the very chiefest apostles. But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. I have committed an offense in abasing myself that you might be exalted because I have preached to you the gospel of God freely. I have robbed other churches taking wages from them to do you service. You know what I'm saying? I have robbed heaven to do y'all service, T.D. Jakes, because what you was taking in tithes and offerings, you and Creflo Dollar and Bill Winston, that was stealing from heaven. You know what I'm saying? I have robbed heaven, taking wages from them to do you service, all the lying ass, devilish ass prayers you was praying. I had to give you something to keep your believers believing that God will do something. It wasn't you, devil, T. Jakes, Bill Winston, Creflo Dollar, that was doing anything. It was me, Adam, doing it all. You know what I'm saying? And when I was present with you and wanted, I was chargeable to no man. For that which was lacking to me, the brethren which came from Macedonia supplied. And in all things, I have kept myself from being a burdensome to you. I don't judge and accuse. And so I, will I keep myself. As for the truth of Christ in me, no man shall stop me of this boasting. Shit, I told Jesus I'll hide him in me. He said, Holy Father, keep through your name them who you have given me so they may be one as we are. Wherefore? Because I love you not. Because I love you not. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's saying. Why? Because I love you not. You know God know it. You know God know it. Uh, I love you. You know what I'm saying? But what I do, that will I do. You know, that I will do. That I may cut off the occasion from them that which desire occasion that whereby they glory. Like T.D. Jakes, I'm, like, I'm God. You need to come to me, I'm God. And they may be found even as we. For such are false apostles, like T.D. Jakes, Bill Winston, Creflo Dollar, deceitful workers, transforming themselves from the devil into apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into the angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness. They do that too. You know what I'm saying? They try to, they lie and say they ministers of the light and lie and say they ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works, judging and accusing. They're going to be judged and accused. I say again, let no man think me a fool, if otherwise, yet as a fool, receive me. <laughs> you better be the fool to receive me like that lady lost her life last night. Talking about ain't no God, and if a man say he God, he got uh, schizophrenia. And that's what they told me. So I got rid of that devil. I said, fuck that. Then I heard her just like I'm a, just like after that. After she got rebuked last night and kicked out of heaven, she came right back lying as the devil, saying something else. Not saying what she said that, that she got rebuked, but one thing she did say that made me laugh. Talking about, oh, I woke, woke up 
to a whole bunch of uh, 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 subscriptions. I, I woke up to a whole bunch of new subscribers. You know what I'm saying? The reason she woke up with a whole bunch of new subscribers, evidently she didn't hear God rebuke her ass and kick her ass out of heaven. That's why everybody went to her motherfucking page. Anywhere I go to your page and judge in a queue, because you judge in a queue, when you an enemy of somebody, a children of God, and then you get God against you, because once you get God, you an enemy of a child of God. You know what I'm saying? And say it ain't no God, and you and God got to be schizophrenic, and you trying to get me in trouble, and this God, and I'm trying to do the resurrection and stuff, and you don't know where you at. I know you just the devil all along, just wandering star, you know what I'm saying, like that woman. I'm talking about she got a lot of new subscribers. I know you do. They heard God cuss your ass out, you know what I'm saying, then you're going to come back to try to transfer yourself into a minister of light or a minister of righteousness. I heard it. I started to go back and play that old one, then come back and play the one you did today, you know what I'm saying, and show the difference. Uh, he'll be a devil one minute, and he'll be a devil in a woman, goddamn the neck. I mean, uh, uh, try to be God and act like he God to try to fool you. He God the next minute. I say again, let no man think me a fool. If otherwise, yet as a fool receive me. You know what I'm saying? That I may boast myself a little. That which I speak. I speak it not after the Lord, but as it were foolishly in this confidence of boasting. Seeing that many glory after the flesh, I glory also. You know what I'm saying? They brag a little, I brag a little too. I know I'm God, but ain't nothing wrong with bragging. They do it, why I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? For you suffer fools gladly. How come I can't suffer a fool for a little while? Seeing you yourselves are wise. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can be wise. Devils can be wise. Snakes can be wise. You know what I'm saying? You suffer fools gladly. And I can suffer a fool gladly too. You know what I'm saying? For you suffer if a man bring you into bondage. If a man devour you. If a man take of you. If a man exalt himself, if a man smite you on the face, I speak as concerning reproach, as though we had been weak. How be it, wherein soever, and he is bold, I speak foolishly. I am bold also. Are they he Hebrew? So am I. Are they Israelite? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. Am I more? You know what I'm saying? In labors, more abundant. Stripes, above measure. Prisons, more frequent. I go to prison more than everybody else. In depths, often. Of the five times received, I forty stripes save one. Thrice I was beaten with rods. Once I stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day. I have been in the deep. In journeys often. Perils, perils of waters. Perils of robbers. Perils of my countrymen. Perils of the heathen. Perils in the city, perils in the witness, perils in the sea, perils among the false brethren, in weariness, painfulness, in watching often, in hunger, thirst, fastings often, in cold and nakedness. I suffered a lot of things, and a lot of people do too. You know what I'm saying? Besides those things that are without that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. Who is weak? I am not weak. Who is offended? 
I burn not. Yeah. If I must needs glory, I will glory of the things which concern my firmities. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is blessed forever, knowing that I lie not. Damascus, the governor up under the king of the city of whatever, man, guys, and through a window in a basket was I let down by the wall and escaped by his hands. <laughs> Shit, you know what I'm saying? First Peter 5, I ain't gonna read. Oh yeah, I am. First Peter 5, what was that about that? I don't know, but we said we was gonna read it. The elder which is among you, I exhort, who am also an elder and witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God, which is among you. That's not just food. That's knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly. Not by filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Neither being lords over God's heritage, but being examples to the flock. You know what I'm saying? Listen to that. Neither being lords, don't set out to be lords. Everybody want to be a god. Everybody want to be lord. Not neither, you know, as being lords over God's heritage. You don't want to be gods over the inheritance. That's polluting my inheritance, making it more like earth and making it more like Satan. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to be happy people, being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, Adam, you shall receive a crown of glory that faded not away. And you got it, because I'm here. Likewise, you younger, submit yourselves to the elders. You know you're supposed to say yes, sir, and no, sir, to your elder. Yeah, all of you be subject to one another. And be clothed with humility. You know what I'm saying? For God resisted the proud and give grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in, in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober and vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour, judge and accuse, kill, steal, and destroy, whom resisted steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But God of all grace, who have called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, make it you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. All right. Jude 1. I already got my Jude there. Uh, we got that. Yeah. Genesis 3, we got that. Let me see what my boy said. Let me see. 57, Daddy. We just don't say. 31. Isaiah 31. You know what I'm saying? Damn, champ. This year. Okay. 
Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust chariots because they are many in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto to the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. And their horses flesh and not spirit. Now, T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, Bill Winston are men and not God. And their horses flesh and not, I mean, their horses are flesh and not spirit. You know what I'm saying? They bodies are flesh that they walk around on in, but not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that help do God wrong shall fall, and he that hoping that he shall fall, and they all shall, shall fail together. You know what I'm saying? For thus have the Lord spoken to me, like as a lion and the young lion roared on his prey when a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him you know what I'm saying when a multitude of shepherds are called forth against him you see that T.D. Jakes a multitude of y'all was called forth against me he will not be afraid of their voice nor abase himself for the noise of them so shall the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. As the birds fly, as birds fly, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also he will deliver it. Passing over he will preserve it. Turn you to him from whom the children of Israel have deeply revolted. For in that day every man shall cast away his idols of silver, his idols of gold, which were, were your own hands made to you for sin, for judging and accusing, for being stolen, for, you know, for all that kind of stuff, for, you know, being an idol. Then shall Assyrians fall by the sword, and not by a mighty man. And the sword, not by not of a mean man, shall shall devour him. But he shall flee from the sword, and his young men shall be discomfited, and he shall pass over to his stronghold for fear and his princes shall be afraid of the ensign says the Lord whose fire is in Zion and furnace is in Jerusalem so you know what I'm saying God he doing his thing man he doing his thing but I'm gonna get off this thing now man God love y'all man just read that word just read that word confirm